Hello, how are you? My name is Ileana and today we're going to talk about indefinite articles. And the first question that we have to make ourselves is which are the indefinite articles? Well, this is the answer. Those are the indefinite articles. A and an. But let's continue with the class to help you to understand better this topic, okay? Okay, so at the beginning of the video, we already made ourselves a question, which are the indefinite articles? But now the second question that we have to make ourselves is where can we find those words? Where? Well, it's really easy. If you open a book or any, any text, you will see these articles and they are usually next of some words that are called nouns. Do you remember what is a noun? Well, remember that nouns give the names to the objects, to people, and places. In general, or in simple word, a noun is an object, a person, or a place. For example, an apple is a noun, a um, car is a noun, but let's continue and let's analyze this brief of text. Okay, and in this text i want you to identify both things i want you to identify the indefinite articles but also i want you to identify the nouns okay so please stop the video and try to identify these words only identify okay are you ready i'm gonna help you let's start identifying the nouns the first noun that we can find is melon. That's a noun. And it's a fruit. Fruit is a noun. Pineapple is a noun. Other noun that we can find in this text is an olive tree. That is a noun. Emerald. An emerald is a noun. And last but not least, fox. A fox is a noun. Fox is an animal. Animals are nouns. Right? Now, did you understand what is a noun? It's very easy. Remember, nouns are objects, people, animals, places. Okay? Now, let's identify all the indefinite articles that we have here in this text. I'm going to help you. Okay? The first is A. Other and what about this and we have one more did you identify it yes he's here and do you remember that we say that those indefinite articles are always next to the nouns and it's very important to say that they are usually before the nouns look a melon we have the indefinite article Pineapple is the noun, okay? Together, next to each other. An olive tree, an emerald, a fox, okay? So it's very important that you remember that. No, indefinite articles and nouns are always together. Indefinite articles are usually before the noun, okay? This is the first thing that we have to understand. I'm sure that you are very, very smart and you already got this information. So let's move on to other slide. Now, again, I'm going to ask you to pause the video. Okay, but first, listen the instructions. We have here nouns. Okay, this is a noun, this is a noun, this is a noun, and this is a noun. Okay, so first step, we already identified the noun. Now, with all the information that we said, with the last text review that we made, I want you to complete this sentence with the correct and definite article. Okay? So, here, in this space, I want you to write if the indefinite article is A or N. Okay, now 
pause the video and complete the activity. Ready? Okay, the first one, let's answer this exercise together. Man, we have to say a man. Then we have car. And the correct answer is a car. Then we have the word airplane. Remember, airplane is a noun, is an object. So in this case, the correct answer is an. And last but not least, we have the word teacher. Teacher is a noun. And the correct answer is a teacher. Now, I want you to analyze this structure. Can you identify something special? I'm sure you did. And as you can see, again, all the nouns are next to the indefinite articles. Remember, they are usually together. And indefinite articles are before these nouns. Okay? We already talked about examples. We already know which are the indefinite articles. But now let's go a little bit deep in the explanation. Okay? The first thing I want you to know after all the information is to know why they are called indefinite. Well, they are called indefinite and definite because they are talking about general things. They are not definite, literally. They are not specific and of course they are singular. It's very important that we use indefinite articles, remember a and an, when we talk about singular. For example, this is a teacher. Do we know what is the name of this teacher? No, no, we don't know his name. Um, is this teacher me? No. So the point is that he can be any teacher. So in this case, we can notice that it's a general information, it's not definite, it's not a specific, and it's singular because it's only one teacher. Okay, in this case, we use indefinite articles. Okay, other example, an airplane. Do we know the brand? Do we know who is the owner of this airplane? No, we don't know the owner and it's not an, a specific airplane. We're not talking about a brand. Uh, we're not talking about an, a specific, a specific information. All these examples are general. A man. A teacher, an airplane is again general. We have other example. We have the noun man, apple is only one man, is only one apple, is singular. We also know that they are general information. We're not talking about a specific man, we're not talking about an apple with a special specifications or with a special things. No, it's just an apple, it's just a man. So in this case, yes, in this case is where we use this indefinite articles, okay? Other thing that I want you to know and is very, very important is, and the third question that we have to make ourselves is, when do we use a? And when do we use an? When means, I already know that the indefinite articles are a and. I already know that we use them next to nouns. I already know that they are used for general information where we're talking about singular nouns. But when? When do we use a and when is an? Well, I'm going to give you the tip. We have to check the first letter of, a, of each noun. And the first letter of each noun will tell us if we're going to use A or if we're going to use N. Let's check. We have this example, okay? The first noun is man. Let's check the first letter of the noun. In this case, the first letter is M. Now, 
apple. This is the noun. Which is the first letter of this noun? It's the letter A. Well, now let's explain why it's very important to check the first letter and why the first letter will tell us which indefinite article are we going to use. Okay, let's check. There are two separate group of letter in the English language. Okay? From the 26 letters, the total of the letters that we have in the English language, in the English alphabet, we're going to separate them into groups. The first group are called vowels and the second group are called consonants. We have five vowels, okay? And we have 21 consonants, okay? Do you remember the vowels? Well, the vowels are A, E, I, O, U. How can we identify the vowels from the consonants or the, what is the difference between vowels and consonant word? The first thing that we have to know is that there are only five vowels. And the second tip that I'm going to give you is that when we say the vowels, we didn't close our mouth. I mean, vowels are pronounced by not closing your mouth. Just try it. For example, I, I put some pictures here. For example, when you say A, A, you don't close your mouth to say A. Or for example, O, O, you don't close your mouth to say O, right? I want you to try it. And even in Spanish, I, O, we don't close our mouths to say these letters. By the other hand, we have consonants. And when we say a consonant, we close our mouth. For example, B, you put your lips together, or M, or P, okay? B, M, P, we put together our lips, we close our mouth to say the consonants. That's, that's a really, really big difference, okay? And it's very important that you know it because this would help you to identify the vowels from the consonants. Even in Spanish, I want you to try this exercise, okay? You can pause the video and try it. And other tip that I'm going to give you to identify or better say to learn the vowels is the vowel face. Look, you're going to draw a face with the vowels. You, I, A are the eyes, and the letter E are the ears. Okay, so this is the vowel face. So if you are in your exam and you say, oh my God, they are asking me for vowels. I don't remember the vowels because I'm very nervous for my exam. Okay, remember the vowel face and this will help you to recover the information, okay? So let's continue. Now that we already talked about the difference between vowels and consonants and that we have these two groups. Now, as I explained to you before, the first thing is identify the noun. Okay, when you already identify the noun, the first letter, in this case, the first letter is a consonant. Okay, we have to use A. Amen. And that's it. This is the indefinite article. It is really easy. Really, really easy. Isn't it? One more example. Identify the noun. Apple. Identify the first letter of the word. A. Is a vowel or is a consonant? It's a vowel. That means that we are going to use N instead A. 
okay this is the indefinite article now one more time i want you to pause the video and complete this exercise practice with this exercise i'm going to help you with some of them okay for example we have here orange this is the noun orange and also this is the noun this is the orange second step identify the first letter oh is a vowel or is a consonant remember oh did you close your mouth to say the letter no that means that is a vowel okay that means that we're going to use an one more example biscuit this is a biscuit a cookie is other way to say cookie biscuit okay we already identify the noun now the first letter second step the first letter is the letter b okay letter b is a vowel or is a consonant when you say b you close your mouth or you don't close your mouth yes that means that is a consonant okay that means that we are going to use a really easy right now i want you to pause the video and complete this exercise remember again one more example again identify the noun mango is a noun the first letter m is a vowel or consonant it's a consonant that means that we have to use here a a mango okay and and with consonants we're going to use a okay let's continue with the last topic of the day so we already talked about indefinite articles but now we're going to talk about the definite article it's only one definite the this this word the we say that is definite because it's a specific is definite literally and we use with plural let's check some examples for example the blue house can you identify the in the definite article yes it's here and also is with col is with red color okay so we have the blue house and in this case can you see the picture is very specific because as you can see is the only blue house the only blue house we have a lot of houses here but only this one is color blue that one that's why we use the okay because we are talking about an specific thing the blue house if we only say if we eliminate blue and if we eliminate that then we have to say a house okay but in this case we are talking about the blue one other example the red car in this case we are very specific why because we have one two and three cars but we are talking about the specific one and the specific one is the red one the red car that's why we use that suppose that we don't have red and we don't have that we can say a car any car it can be any any car but in this case we are being specific because we're talking about the red one okay not the yellow not the ambulance we're talking about the red one okay and guess what well the class is over i hope you like it i hope you understand everything that we explain in this video and well 
I don't have anything else to say. Just goodbye. Have a great week and see you next video. Bye.